All right, traders, hello, and welcome back. Just want to talk about how the week's gone. This is an end of week update. Tentative positions on the USD yen and the Euro yen as well. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't work out. You can see the entry prices there. Stops were where they were, so they were pretty tight. They were pretty tight stop losses for how I normally trade, to be honest, especially the USD yen. Um, to be fair, I'm drawing... No, it's more than 20 pips. So just slightly more than 20 pips for both of those. Um, now, you know what? Let's do this. Let's see how the month has been. The month has not been fantastic, honestly. I missed an opportunity in the Euro Yen where it was... Um, for the Elliott Titians out there, it was a C wave upwards. And I did miss that opportunity. It was earlier in the week, I think a Tuesday night, where it went down to the low 119s. And then it took off. Um, but boohoo. Um, there are a couple other trades that... You know what? All the trades that I've taken haven't been terrible. The the USD yen and the Euro yen, I would probably rate those around a 3.5 out of 5. Um, but I just want to show everyone, I won't be trading until next month as well. I'm back on the back tester. Um, so as you can see, you know, I've had... This is from last year, the, the DBB method, the live account... Um, the DBB was also live. The BBB was live. Everything's live here. So, um, but I want to bring up the prop account. It hasn't been terrible this year, to be honest. It's been, we'll call it like great. Um, I think equity highs on the prop account were nearly 11%. So as you can see, I am down a little bit. 3.91%. So I didn't really know exactly where it was, but that's where it's at. So by far, by far the worst month. And I guess, you know what? I can't pinpoint anything. My win rate isn't fantastic, as you can see. And I went, my longs are actually even worse. So I've, it's just been a little unfortunate. And just looking at that, I don't really feel that terrible. I understand you're probably thinking like, Scott, I mean, if we have a look at the year, we've still got November and December. Uh, and I've come back from this, as you can see, there were, f there were four months of positive. There was five months of positive. Six out of seven months have been positive since March. So I'm going to have to remain positive. Uh, August actually was up three and a half percent. And then I, I just, I guess that was bad trading. But October, I guess it wasn't great trading in regards to the last couple of trades. But the last couple of trades reflected around like 0.7% because they were very small size. But I guess I just get a little urgent in regards to trading. And it's it's sort of harder than I think. So subconsciously, I really like being busy. And I think I've got it all under control, but I don't really. And that's clearly evident this month. Uh, it's great for me to reflect on this. I don't want to ramble on too much, but that's that's been the month. So as you can see... Uh, the only trade that I don't think I had, let me try and remember here, guys. I'm sorry. I think the Euro Yen, one point at the start of the month. No, I only had one pair. Um, one time I traded the Euro Yen, I believe. Let's bring up the account here, guys. Also, I want to check out the other account. This is traded by a friend of mine in, uh, in Texas, Brian. Okay, we won't look at that too much. It's a bit more of an aggressive account. Let's see the month. Let's see the month. This has got to be quick. This could be a little ugly. I haven't looked at this. All right, so it's not... Okay, okay. So, let's go to October. So, October was EuroCAD, Kiwi. Okay, so the Euro Yen. So, the Euro Yen wasn't... That actually did take off, but I think what I need to do is move move the stop a little bit more because I have it meandering and, and Richard Jackson, which is, this account is for for um, his prop firm in Melbourne, Lupus Proprietary Trading. He had some words with me at the start of this month about it, so I guess from when I added the extra thousand, I'm not down that much. So I got a little reckless, as you can see, Pound Aussie, EuroCAD. Kiwi, USD CAD, and then the pound yen. The pound yen, uh, long. 
actually the Pan Yan Long was was a pretty good entry, but again, it just didn't work out. And you know, I can't dwell on that. I'm playing by the rules. Um, I think I will keep it like this, guys. This will be the video. So I've showed you what's going on, and I was I'm actually going to make a fun video next about um, something completely not related to trading, just to get my mind off it. I you got to keep positive. You got to keep resilient. I pride myself on always showing everyone what's going on, you know, good, bad, whatever. Like, I guess back, you know, at the start of last year, it's nearly two years ago since I properly started live trading with one strategy, well, one strategy, like not crazy, changing this, changing that. And I just don't mind about this month, honestly, because I'd be more upset if I didn't take the trade and it was a winning trade. And it was to my rules. You can't do that. You've got to take what's your rules. There are a couple of trades that weren't that appropriate. But um, I just got to keep resilient. And I'll keep positive. Fun video coming soon. Maybe tonight. I'll keep everyone posted. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.